You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Let's talk about this, and I've wanted to discuss this for a while because I can't get my head around. A bit of romantic music, Macca, if we could, please. The beautiful honeymoon of Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. Where did um, everyone, just quickly, where did everyone go on their honeymoons? Didn't do any of the time, did you? No. Hamilton Island, just for a couple of nights. Oh, that's nice. Tommy, yeah. you, oh, you were already away. Yeah, we were already in France, so we just stayed right. there. Where yeah. did you go, man? Koh Samui. Koh Samui? Yeah, Thailand. In Thailand. Says yeah, I thought you were planning. No, on no, it. I got married and we were on air, so didn't take a holiday. First, the first one? Oh. No, first one because it wasn't a survey break. Oh. Didn't take a holiday. Second one? Nope. Third no, one? Didn't I mean, do that. No. Well, I mean, says we do get. Third one's going to be big. We get ten weeks off a year. I know, but I, I mean, couldn't plan the wedding around the break. I did my best with my pregnancies. I planned those around our Christmas holiday, yeah. so that was. Good. Where do you want to go? Oh, I first love class to go, and fifty k. Oh. I'd love to go to Italy. Sure. I haven't been back since I was backpacking, and, and I oh could, my could God. do it a little bit nicer this time. There's a few around. Italians waiting for you to come back as well. We know about that. Contiki mm. tour. Uh, let's talk about back to Ben and Jen. Um, I just, I've never seen, I've never seen photos of a newly married man on his honeymoon with someone looking so angry and bored in my entire oh, life. Give me a break. He's Have not. a look. He, they've been travelling around Europe, right? They've been in France. They've been on super yachts. They've been shopping. They go out for lunch. I've never seen anybody look more disappointed and angry on a honeymoon in but my you, life. You've just picked out a few photos. These she doesn't been, look happy yeah. either. She's all right. She's been putting a bit of a smile on her face. Says, you've been across this photo, these photos yeah. since they got married. Do you know- and he has not smiled once. In fact, he, has. he almost attempted to smile in this shot, but fell asleep halfway through. You can see him with his no. feet up snoring. I think the one that's most concerning, down the bottom in the middle, that was the photo where he's actually at dinner with her and he's crying. He's crying. And it was well documented yeah. that he's crying. But they he's might emotional. have been having an emotional moment. He may, you know what, he may have watched the Titanic He's, for the first time and, and I, cried I don't think so. I think I it's more th- that she was having a drink and he can't. I mean, have a look at him here. He's got his jaw locked in an anger position no. because he's so furious about the holiday. He'd be sick of the paps getting in their face. Well, they had their kids with I know. them as well. I throw him a bone, says, and say mm. maybe it's the fact that your kids were there. This article goes on to say how great the kids were getting along and they looked like they were having fun on the honeymoon when they were on the super yacht. Are you still not happy, Ben Affleck? I reckon there'd be a couple of photos of him smiling, mate. There are none. None. I don't think he smiled since they got married. Well, maybe no. he needs to pose for the paparazzi. Yeah. She puts on a show. She comes out. She's really glammed up. She's always holding a bag that she gets paid to endorse. It's work for her. My only thought is... He's not. They're actually making a film about this. Possibly. So there are long shot cameras always in front of them, and he, the movie is about a guy that marries someone who's better than he is, and therefore he can't be happy about it, so he doesn't smile the entire time through the movie. She made that film about a year ago with Owen Wilson. That's true. (laughs) Look at him here. I mean, here he's on a super yacht as well. Fast asleep. Hey, can we... Tomorrow on the show, Tommy, can we talk about one of um, J-Lo's first marriages? Did you... Yes, The waiter, did you read that scene? Well, she hooked up with the waiter. That was her first marriage. He legally got to the US on a boat. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing story. This is when she was just Jenny from the block? And he was washing cars and then became a waiter. And she came into his restaurant one night and she fell in love with him. It's a beautiful story. Ends up really bad. Yeah, of course. And now he's really, obviously... She's on her fourth wedding. He's certainly not smiling these days. A-Rod's not smiling and Ben Affleck doesn't want to smile. We've learnt that much. 13, 24, 10. Why was your honeymoon an absolute disaster? Why were you not smiling on your honeymoon? Jodie in Campbelltown, what happened on yours, Jodes? Uh, well, you know, I um, we went had a really good first week in LA. Then we went to Mexico for the rest of our honeymoon. Yeah. Um, we got our baggage lost. Oh, um, we didn't have any baggage. Then we both got sick from eating... Um, Salad washed in really bad water, so we both oh. end up with stomach bugs. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. One bathroom then, in the hotel oh, room, Jones. Yep. And then we went across to Acapulco, and we both got conjunctivitis. Oh. oh, how hot is that? Kiss me, um, <laughs> Jones. That's beautiful. So Just... you didn't end up seeing a lot of Mexico because yeah. you physically couldn't. No, <laughs> not at all. It was pretty horrible. Oh. Like, what do you see in me? Oh, well, I can't at the moment. I can't <laughs> open my eyes. There's like too got, much crust. I feel like I've got sand in my eyes. <laughs> Kiss me, you fool. Make love to me on this honeymoon. I don't know where you are. Are you in the room? Obviously experimenting on the honeymoon as well. Um, yeah. Her? Pink eye? What do you mean? <laughs> 
Oh, that was certainly <laughs> not the case. Jodes, are you still with this man? Yeah, yeah, we've been married for 22 years. Oh, well, oh. you've seen and been through everything. I mean, it was really just a test to make you stronger, wasn't it, that honeymoon? It was, it was. But well, we were glad to get home. <laughs> Yvette from Bondi is giving a score. What happened on your parents' honeymoon, Yvette? Um, they, it was like 35 years ago, but basically they went during Chinese New Year, they went to China, yep. and everything was closed. So they literally did nothing. The hotel was open, but like on skeleton staff, and they just sat in their hotel room. Oh, do they fully shut, is it a full public holiday for the week, is it? Yeah, it's for a while, yeah. Oh, right. Year and of the rat and you can't celebrate. <laughs> he may have known that, your dad, Yvette, I hate to say it, <laughs> His plan could have been just to stay in the hotel room, if you know what I mean. Uh, no. How do you think you were made, Vetty? You know what I mean? Chinese New Year was a celebration and a big party. That's what I would have thought. <sighs> yeah, no. I don't think their travel agent did very well. Okay. All right, Yvette, thank you. Let's go to Chris now from Cromer. What was the honeymoon disaster? Well, my hus- I married a Kiwi and his father wouldn't come to our wedding, so on our honeymoon we went over to New Zealand. He drove us to the Bay of Islands, which was where we were having our honeymoon, and he wanted to come with us and stay in our room. You've got to be kidding me. You've got I wish to be I kidding was. me. After that, we went round and visited all the relatives that couldn't come to our wedding. Oh, shoot me and now. And they put us in single beds wherever we went. <laughs> yeah. And then to top it off, the last place we stayed, they decided to go fly fishing in the morning. That would have been all right. And they told him it was hot weather, so he wore you know shorts and a singlet. Uh. They all turned up in, you know, um, overalls. Yep. When he came back, they'd taken him through some swamp and he was bitten all over and had these bitchy bites for the rest of the time. Okay. Why didn't the old man come to the wedding to start with? Um, because my husband had been married before and he refused to come. Yeah. Oh, but then wanted to get involved in the honeymoon and sleep in the same room as you guys. Yeah. That's, That's getting weird. weird. Oh, I mean, uh, are you still with I him, mean, Chris? It's kinky, but yes, if I that's... am. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly 35 years later. Sorry well to hear, done, Chris. That's, that is a good effort by you. You know what? You've sacrificed the honeymoon to set up the rest mm-hmm. of your life and you're still together. I know. I thought you would have hated him by now, but well done, Chris. Sue in Wentworth, Will. What went wrong on the honeymoon, Sue? Um, we went to Hawaii for a week first, and then we came back and went down the south coast of New South Wales, and we took my mother. And we stayed in a caravan, and um, my my husband at the time and my mother got into this huge argument, and we ended up coming home early. Oh, what was the argument over, anymore. Sue? <laughs> was it over something minor, Sue, the argument? Um, yeah. Oh, what was um, it? I think it was because my mum's a mad alcoholic. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So mum's drank That's too much. So mum's on the, yeah, yeah. Mum's on the, on the gin he was just in the keen. back of the caravan. He was just keen for a lager. Yeah, yeah. well, not good, not good no, at all. And you were hoping to get it on and so mum's what? there. Why would you, as a parent, <laughs> want to go on a, Why would you want to go on the honeymoon with them anyway? And sleep in a caravan? Worth. It's so horrible. Man. Olivia and Heathcote, what happened on your honeymoon? So my husband and I went to Cyprus for a honeymoon, and uh, while swimming in the ocean, I could I could feel somebody glaring at me. Just I could see the gaze of somebody from the from the beach. I just looked very carefully, and I noticed that it's actually my ex boyfriend. Oh. Um, and uh, little I knew that actually my brother told him about it, about a whereabout, and I then had the hotel room. We went to the hotel room. My husband at the time didn't tell me anything at the ocean. I thought, oh, phew, I just, I, it's easy. He didn't see him. But we went to the room, and that night he just told me, why did you invite your ex boyfriend? It was just like an ice bucket on my head. Oh. So the entire week that we were there, he didn't talk to me. He oh, just, no. And he actually uh, rescheduled the flight to come back earlier. We were supposed oh. to be there two weeks. He came back one week. If Gee. he could, it would have made it two days only. He, is he a bit insecure, the hubby, Olivia? Or? Uh, he is, actually. Are you still um, with him? No. <laughs> Uh, that, 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 and other incidents of the similar nature. Um, uh, yeah, well, Olivia, can I ask you this question? As we sit here yes. now, right? If you look back, should you have been with the ex? Would you have preferred to have been with the ex than the one you actually married? Uh, um, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I, I would struggle with thing. that too, knowing that the ne- an ex is there the whole time when mm. you're supposed to be. That's but you'd be putting on a show, wouldn't you? I'd be making out heavily on a banana lounge with barely anything on. 
Oh, How yeah. attractive. I'd be, I'd be I'd rubbing be massage right oil the and, and I'd be, oh my God, coming out of the oh. water really slowly in a pair of white speedos and making them super jealous of the hot piece of meat they gave up. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Hmm. Kiss me now, you silly fool. Hey, you look away. You threw it away, didn't you? Oh, yeah, talking about a now group you can't, of kids. Now you can't have me. <laughs> you can't have me, I said. I'm on a honeymoon yep. with the love of my life. It's just too bad you, you went next out. to the pool. You're in the buffet with your speedos on. <laughs> Mummy, on. what's wrong with that man? <laughs> Look away, children. He's been here for eight hours. I don't feel like eating anymore, <laughs> Mum. <laughs> You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.